One common application of nonlinear systems is looking at identifying break-even quantities for a business. Break-even points occur whenever revenue is exactly equal to cost, meaning a business has brought in exactly as much money as it's spent. In order to find those break-even quantities then, we just need to graph the two given functions and find those points of intersection. It can take some trial and error to find the right viewing window in order to see all of your points of intersection. I've already experimented a little bit and so that I know so I know that a good view is x from negative 100 to 100 and y from negative 100 to 160,000. But a little bit of experimentation goes a long way just in terms of trying to find those different points of intersection. And actually, it looks like I've got a typo in my revenue function, so I'm going to delete that 9 to make that just minus x cubed. And then we'll actually zoom out just a little bit further and slide up so we can see these different points of intersection. If I click on one of these curves, I can see these gray dots are giving me points of intersection at x equals 24, x equals 7, and x equals negative 100. Intuitively, we can throw out this point of intersection. Since we're not going to have a negative value for x, we're not going to produce a negative number of units. So we get two points of intersection at x equals 7 and x equals 24. So we can list those as xy coordinate pairs as 7, 47,740 and 24 comma 147,360. In this case x is in the number of thousands of units so this is telling us that we have break-even points occurring at production values of 7,000 units and 24,000 units. In example four, we have a very similar problem. We're given a cost and a revenue function. Then we need to adjust our viewing window until we can find our points of intersection. In this case we have two, one occurring at x equals 29.479 and the other occurring at 5425. Keep in mind in this case each of our y coordinates are being expressed in scientific notation, but really in terms of identifying the break-even point we're really just looking for the production level so we're really just concerned with that x coordinate. So in the case of example four, our break-even points would be at production levels of approximately 29 units or 5,425 units. In this case, we're not given any information like we were in example three, where X was in the number of thousands of units. Here, X is just the number of units, so no conversion needs to be applied to those final answers.